<laughs> okay, so <clears throat> welcome to the local pickup. My name's Jason Broadwater. My name's Chris Bass Genius Gervais. <laughs> Mario Bass Genius Gervais. <laughs> and today we have with us a Fender Music Master. This is a short scale. Super cool. Yeah, super, super cool. This is a 1970s bass. It's short scale. Uh, they made these things from uh, the 70s through 81. They quit making them because it was a low-end, Fender did these low-end basses and guitars, and in 81 they released the Squire series, which took up, they, they canceled all their low-end stuff and they moved it all to Squire, under the Squire brand. It re it's really a fascinating story. So like, when they started making these, it's, it's kind of, I can't believe that Fender would do this. They took old Mustang bodies, Mustang bass bodies, and just spare parts they put neck a neck on it and they and this this pickup's been changed out but the original pickups they took squire pickups so like uh, i mean excuse me uh, stratocaster pickups so stratocaster is an, an electric guitar yeah, with six with strings, six strings yeah. and they took the pickup that has six poles so the the pole under each string yeah. is supposed to capture the noise from each mm -hmm. string right <clears throat> they took six pole pickups from strats that they had laying around and they stuck them in a base that had four yeah. strings just like eh. and they just released it and sold it yeah and uh, and in the very beginning they did a daphne blue but then they quit that and they just made it in white red and black and so but now this is this is a now this has been altered base. and we'll okay, get to yeah, that yeah, okay, so okay. this base has actually right. been altered but when they first released these it was just spare parts they took a strat uh pickup stuck it on there which doesn't make any sense to have six poles under four strings um they took um old mustang bodies uh they have the neck and and they just released it as like kind of a spare parts cheap base well what happened Shocking. was i know it's kind of just sloppy manufacturing right well what happened, and it was just a, like a beginner, low-end thing. Yeah. And they made them, and they weren't that popular, and then... Maybe because they had the wrong pickup. I mean, maybe so. The Squire came out, so they discontinued all their low-end basses and guitars. Squire took that, all that on. Squire made a Bronco that tried to imitate this, and, the, and they even put in that a six-pole A, a Bronco? Strat I've never heard of that. You never heard of it? So Bronco's a Squire version of the Music Master. Uh -oh. And it's short scale to be easy to rock. You can rock it like a guitar and space. So, so here's what happened. Now, I don't think O.J. Simpson played bass. <laughs> but if he did, he'd play a Bronco. <laughs> but it's very slowly. Very for slowly. Like, I watched yeah. that. I remember being in a, I was in a restaurant watching that white Bronco drive very slowly with all those police behind it. It was, it was I odd. was playing bass. Yeah, I was playing a music master and going. I was like, like one day, doom, 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 doom. one day I'm going to be on a YouTube yeah. show yeah. <laughs> talking about this. Stuff. I was prophetic. Yeah. Um, but anywho, in the meantime, while all that was going on, the indie kind of world adopted the music master bass because it had come out. It was short scale. It was cheap. It was easy to get. It was easy to just play. Um, it had. They have nice necks on them because I mean the necks are from you know the bases they would have made at Fender. So yeah. everything. You know, each part is a, a well-made part. They had just cobbled it together when they built it. It they, feels awesome when you play you, it. Oh, it dude, really I love legit. it. So that's the thing. They've been reborn, and what's happened is it's like Sonic Youth. Yeah, and Yeah, uh, bands that were like super indie bands started playing them. And they got on people's radar. Everybody wanted one to look. They weren't like what everybody was used to seeing with a, a P bass or a, a jazz bass. You know, it was something different. Again, it was short scale. Yeah. And... Um, so people started getting them and modding them. They started changing out the pickups, putting different things. And now there's a whole market on the internet of people that make um, Music Master pickups. And so, so this pickup is like a super well-made, new, very nice pickup that was made specifically for the Music Master bass. They've become so popular, that, and there are only a certain amount of them because they were made, you know, between 71 and 81, pretty much. Of the model of bass. Of that yeah. model. And so people are like, they're becoming more and more valuable in the kind of used marketplace because they're cool and people are trying yeah. to get a hold of them. And this one actually comes from a, a friend of ours named Ashley Peoples. Ashley's an incredible musician, incredible bass player, uh, singer, uh, songwriter, guitarist, everything. Plays and in, super knowledgeable. Yeah, like, knowledgeable. Extremely knowledgeable. Yeah, nice about dude. About all this stuff. If he was here, he'd be blowing your mind. Oh, blowing your mind. Yeah. Um, he uh, <laughs> he um, is in a band called Gasp. Gasp is in a, a phenomenal band. With Gasp. A, Gasp. Gasp. Look it up. Gasp. And uh, Josiah, who is here, uh, a Revan flight like us, he is um, also in Gasp. 
And they're awesome. And they're awesome. And uh, Ashley let us borrow this bass to have on the show. And um, he, he's the one who modded it and put this uh, pickup in it with a little nice uh, finger, you know, thumb rest up there on top. And he's got flat wound strings on it. Yeah, that's, it it's, nice. it's actually really, it's a perfect place for that, for that thumb rest. Yeah, it's really cool. And being short scale the way it is, man, you can just, just feels like a little guitar, you know? Especially for a guitarist. I, yeah. The bass feels so big yeah. to me, you know? Yeah. I get behind the wheel of one of those things. Yeah, exactly. It's too much, it's just too much guitar. Yeah, and the flat wound strings, it's a slide, play a little bit and slide. I'm sliding, it's like, ooh, it's smooth, ooh, like butter. Doesn't cut your fingers or hurt your fingers. Every time, usually when I pick up a bass, my finger's covered in blood. Oh, covered. But this is, I can just be like. Most bases are knives and glass, yeah. shards. Yeah, bits of like honey and <laughs> just bits of honey. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about that Jean Claude Van Damme. There's a Jean Claude Van Damme movie where he called puts Bits of Honey. Called Bits of Honey. Called Bit of Honey. <laughs> is it? I don't know which one it is. They make fun of it in Hot Shots, where he puts his he puts his hands in like he's gonna fight somebody, and he puts his hands in sticky stuff, and then in glass. Oh wow! I don't remember which one movie it is. They make fun of it in Hot it Shots. Sounds awesome. You, they know what I'm talking about. Yeah, part deux. But with this part deux, but with it was actually part deux. But with this, <laughs> I can be like, I'm like way up on that A sharp, no right? Honey. And they'd be like, ooh, and it feels good. Yeah, but that's the strings, not the bass. You know, it's the flat one. Yeah. Yeah. This isn't really about the strings. This happens yeah. to have flat one strings. Which if you, you can put on any bass. Yeah, enjoy those in the privacy of your own home. Yeah, right. Don't don't be weird. Yeah, don't be <laughs> don't be the flat wound strings. It gets a particular part of you riled up. Don't do that in public. Keep that private. This is PG, dude. Yeah. Um, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, uh, so this is a 1970s Music Master bass, and uh, they, they, it's got the big Fender headstock, uh, the uh, big t the big paddles for the tuning mm -hmm. pegs. You know, it just looks like a big. Those things are they're crazy big. They are big. Yeah, I mean that's every Fender bass. It is, but on this short scale, it looks really yeah. They're really exceptionally big. big old pieces of broccoli. Yeah, they really are big. But it's super cool. The uh, red, you can see the wood grain up underneath it. It's funny how you have the, the beginnings of Fender making what I would think is a poor business decision of like, we got all these parts, let's just throw them together and yeah, release it Yeah, we don't care what happens yeah. tomorrow. And so you have this like corporate non-caring, and maybe I'm wrong, maybe they were like, this will make a great indie mm -hmm. discoverable item, I have no idea. But, but, but the outcome was that it got Or maybe they were just up. like, I don't know. I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, I'm scared. Just put that bass together. <laughs> I'm so scared. But um, but the outcome is that you know this kind of underground scene adopted these things, man, and so now they're hot items on the on the used marketplace, and they sound good. They play well. Uh, well, you know when you replace this pickup, in particular, they sound they sound a lot better. So yeah, it is it is very cool. It sort of instantly. I don't know if it's just my age, but it any any sort of non strat or Telecaster Fender shape. Is like that's a cool, what a cool thing, right? Yeah, it's like, what a hip cool thing you got. Yeah, it is. My whole life, it's like it's because you know you you know you're so used to the Telecaster and the Stratocaster, and then the jazz to see things that are kind of off, mm -hmm. like the Jazzmaster and the Mustang, and you know it's like a little bit more interesting. Right. Well, I think it's know? a case of like it's a great design. Yeah. You know, I mean, all the Fender stuff, it's a really cool design. Mm -hmm. You just you so it's so commonplace. I mean, it's like. I have no, I have no memory of like the first time I saw Strat. Do you know what I mean? Because they're right. just, they're so, or P bass. But you know, it's so funny, ubiquitous. man. You know, I see these videos where um, people like, um, what's the dude from Dire Straits, uh, Mark Knopfler, Mark Knopfler, and people like that will talk about that are just, you know, guitar gods, and and because they're a generation older than us, two generations older than us, they talk about the Stratocaster, yeah. especially Red. They say. Because of the ventures and other people that were playing these red yeah. strategies, that it would it, like they look at it as this like just just amazing evolution in guitar design. Yeah. Whereas you and I, that was the that's the that's the like that's what a Socratic guitar. fundamental yeah. like idea of what a guitar looks like yeah. is a strat. Like yeah, so but, anything different from that is cool. Right, but it's like it is a really good design. But like I said, yes, I think it's very just growing up design. seeing it a million times. The P bass, which is sort of the bass version of, of a strat. strat. Yeah, um, it's exactly. it's ubiquitous. And you, like I said, I don't, I don't. It exactly. was always there. It was always a guitar. So the first time I saw whatever you know it was Pavement or Nirvana or whatever playing a non strat or 
Absolutely. Whatever. It was yeah. like, what a cool thing that is. It, I totally agree, man. Because, I mean, there's nothing exciting to me about a red Stratocaster, but you'd hear these guitar guys talking about Eric Clapton and Mark Knopfler, like, it's the ultimate guitar. Yeah. You know, and I just can't relate. That but, makes sense. But, and that's, we've talked about that one before. It's all, yeah. it's like, that's just cultural perspective. It is. You know, it's not even necessarily the sound. And they do, all those guitars do have their sounds, but. I mean, that informs, you know, what how you feel about an instrument, depending on what kind of player you are. Absolutely. You know, the way it looks, it informs the way you want to play. And all Fender basses are going to have that slappy Fender neck, uh, the Bolton, the Michael Bolton. Uh, <laughs> I like a nice Michael Bolton. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, just kind of that, you know, a little bit of clank going on and that kind of Fender, Fender sound. Um, they all are like Telecasters by at heart, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Uh, they all go back to their roots as a Fender instrument. Um, but I, I, I think the indie just appeals to me more, these kind of off off. Yeah, it's just more exciting. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, I guess uh, that's the Fender Music Master Bass. It's a 1975, I think it is. Um, and it's, it belongs to Ashley Peoples, amazing dude, amazing musician uh, in a band called Gasp that you should check out. And um, let's hear a little bit of it before we uh, say goodbye. I don't actually. Know. <laughs> I don't know how to play that. <laughs> let me uh, let me play line. on it a little bit. Play a play a famous bass line. I don't have a famous bass line, but I do like to play these non wound uh, strings. You can just slide all over this bass. Every time I pick up a bass, I play that song. It's just beautiful bass. All right. Well, we'll see you the next time on Local Pickup. Beautiful bass. <laughs>